Hey guys, Silence Seal here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So by today, it should be, well, the day that Snorlax comes out as an event Pokemon, because apparently in the last video I did, he didn't appear at all. So that was pretty strange. So yeah, even though I did record on the 24th, but he didn't appear at all until the next day. So that's very strange, and I have been pretty busy on my Nintendo Switch. In fact, I've already unlocked Snorlax um, as a cafe staff on my Nintendo Switch account. And now I'm just grinding hard on the Switch just to get the um, cupcakes to power up Snorlax because there's no other way you can have Snorlax coming around your cafe. So yeah, they are promoting this Pikachu dress as a Snorlax costume or rather a staff mascot. Um, but the only problem is it's a pay... Um, design so yeah unless you've got the money you know you can get yourself a Pikachu dressed like Snorlax Ooh, look at that big cuddly friend oh <laughs> alright so I expected the Snorlax to be a lot bigger but I guess it's just down to scale to his actual size sitting right outside the cafe so look it's a Snorlax. An enormous Snorlax is in front of our cafe. It doesn't seem to want to move. If it stays here, though, customers will have a tough time getting inside. Not really, considering that we have to satisfy other customers while satisfy Snorlax at the same time. So the story doesn't make sense according to the gameplay. <laughs> BB? Snorlax. Okay, um, enough of the Pokemon noises. Hmm, perhaps it can move. Perhaps it can't move because it's too hungry. But Snorlax seems to have a big appetite. I wonder if our regular offerings will be enough to satisfy its appetite. I have an idea. Why don't we all work together to prepare lots of offerings? That will surely make this Snorlax happy. So, yep, this is where your team members come in hand. Um, hopefully you've got a team who's pretty active because the Switch account that I'm on Majority of my teammates aren't doing nothing <laughs> I'm the only one and I myself on my Switch account have gotten 300 stars for Snorlax So I am alone um, Unlocking everything for everyone else <laughs> That's that's horrible uh, That's the spirit It's going to get a bit busy but let's combine our efforts So. Sadly to say, for my mobile account, it won't be as busy. There we go, you can collect lots of stars as a team and sit and have Snorlax join the staff. So yeah. So, like I said, I won't be as busy on my mobile account because I'm teaching people how to handle the stages. So, uh, I'll try my best to do what I can. Let's see, I got 18. Wow. Start of a brand new Grand Prix, and let's take a look at what the team members are doing right now. Oh boy! Oh, someone has gotten 400. Oh wow, this guy is really good. He's even higher than my Switch account. I I currently have 300 something on my Switch account, so this is pretty impressive. All right, so let's do this. So the thing about the Snorlax event is, or rather any raid event, um, for Pokemon Cafe Mix, the invitational missions do not affect Snorlax at all because Snorlax only is affected by regular cafe guests instead of the invitational guests. So we're gonna reset this because we're gonna see whether you can get more rare Pokemon in the invitation. But since we can't, let's just make do with what we have here. So as you can see, both seats are filled up with the invitational Pokemon and Snorlax is not there. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh well. 19,000 food. Wawa fat is needed though. So, okay, we're gonna have to get all the items out of the olive oil coating first. Because that would be a problem in the long run. Though a majority of them have been set free. Alright, destroy most of the olive oils. We do need Waba Fat around, so let's just take a note on how many Waba Fats that are around the screen right now. Okay. All 
right? There's a majority of them that's Baba Fett, so... Just gonna get more Baba Fett in. There we go. Okay, um... Technically, we can use this to get more Waba Fats as well. Even though we are currently a few of them, we still get more to appear. So, yes. Two birds with one stone, I suppose. There we go. Alright, let's get more Waba Salt. Just to power up the skill and whatnot. Okay, whip creams are all done. So, let's get rid of Toga Pin. There's just too many of them in your wabu waba heads. Alright, should have enough around so we can clear this stage with a decent amount of you know, remaining moves to get those acorns. Alright. Alright, let's keep going. Meowth, you're up. So I do apologize if my laptop's fan is whirling a bit loudly this time round. I guess my laptop has been <laughs> overworked, just like I have been. Um, so yeah. So if it does get a bit loud, I apologize that. I am saving up for a brand new mic for my setup, so that I don't have to rely on the microphone anymore. And you guys won't have to hear the whirling noises. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Alright, lots of Eevee, let's clear that stage with Eevee. Okay, so we want to push the popcorns down to the same location if possible. You know, so we can get most of them destroyed at one go. Okay. I think we're good. We only left with one popcorn. So that's pretty simple. Alright, and that does it. Although it's the most inefficient result, but it gets the job done. Okay. Alright, on to the actual task of getting Snorlax to join the cafe. Considering the amount of stars that the team has already gathered, I think we might unlock Snorlax immediately after getting our first star. So that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so, yep, here we go. So, if you guys haven't been playing, you should be playing, or at least find a team with a decent amount of people, um, you know, helping out. Oops. Okay, so we definitely need to set the milk and we need to... How do we get... Oh! Oh, it's gonna teleport. Oh, I see. So, okay. So let's maybe push the milk. There we go. Oh! Oh, we need the canister here. Okay, let's see what we have to do. So we need this to pop in the canister. There we go. Alright, yeah, there we go. That's what we need to do. So pay attention to what has to be done. Okay, we have to get more points though. So let's get the score. And after this, we just have to destroy the pumpkin and we're done. Not a very difficult stage. Just gotta pay attention to what needs to get going. So once you place the shaker in the funnel position, I think they're pretty good. There we go, we finally get our first star for Snorlax. And once you've gotten the first star, you can basically unlock the rest of the rewards. Um, depending on how many stars the rest of the team has done. So here we go, let's unlock everything. Alright, lots of rewards along the line. So you have to get Snorlax to level 8 in order to befriend Snorlax as a staff. So that's gonna be a lot of stars. But with 
active teammates, I think we are pretty good. So right now, my mobile account is just riding the wave, <laughs> thanks to the hard work of the rest of the people. So if you guys are inside this group, um, if you happen to be one of the people in this team, I appreciate um, the efforts. Okay, so in order to unlock the rest of the results, we have to earn enough stars for our own. So definitely, not everyone gets to uh, enjoy the full benefits of the event if you haven't been busy, which is a good thing. It basically makes, you know, um, the people who are, you know, just riding the wave, um, you know, earn your keep. Basically, that's what it means. <laughs> okay. Ooh, lots of olives. That's not a good thing. Although it is bubble saw though, so maybe let's just power up the skill for now while destroying marshmallows. Fantastic. Okay. Let's get Pikachu, let's get Pikachu going. There we go. Uh, let's get Starly, cause we don't want to waste the hope of the other side coins. Mm -hmm. So let's destroy the olives here first. Right, let's get all the bubble saw icons. Oh boy. Okay, there's a lot of Charmanders there. Oh, I missed out on one. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, let's clear the Charmanders. There we go. Let's clear the olives here. Oh, I missed out on one again. Okay, we can basically clear this easily with two mega phones. So that's great. Make sure they are in the destruction path. Don't want to waste the move. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. We need one more star to reap more rewards. But we definitely have enough because we're gonna clear 10 stages or more. That's good. Alright, let's keep going. So the only way to power up Snorlax is actually if you keep getting all the rewards that the event is currently on. Because the cupcakes, there is a specific type for Snorlax. So, because Snorlax doesn't appear um, in the cafe queue like normal customers so that is a thing all right we do need the megaphones or rather the skill of Nchino to destroy um the these that are stuck in the bubblegum coating oh god i need you to come down okay once we've got these two down let's destroy this and set them free Okay, so not many icons on this end. Okay, let's do this. Go. So the main thing here is just basically to get um Minchino's skill to destroy the chocolates. Because the chocolates are definitely the harder thing to destroy. Then of course while powering up Michino's skill, let's just get rid of the whip queens. There we go. We do need score, so let's just destroy the whip queens first. Fantastic. And once that is done, let's power up the skill for the multiplication and score. And destroy the chocolate. And we go. Done. Simple as that. Alright, we've got our 6 star on Snorlax, let's go claim the rewards. So, make sure you claim the rewards first before you play more stages because, um, yeah, you're gonna... Although you can basically still stack stars, but it's, it's nicer to see where you're heading towards to. Okay. So all these rewards aren't exactly the important ones. Oh, we need 9 stars now. Okay, so let's see. Um, Basically, we have, let's see, how long does this event last? So we have until the 
8th of October to clear. So that's just another roughly about a week or so more before Snorlax event disappears. So like I said, level 8 of the unlocking is where you get Snorlax. Then look at this. So these are the cupcakes or tarts basically um, that has a Snorlax face on it. So these are the ones that are going to help you power up Snorlax um, greatly because Snorlax doesn't line up in queue um, like the rest of the customers so definitely even after you unlock Snorlax if you're feeling a bit more adventurous or a bit hardworking move on keep collecting stars you need 720 stars actually it's not just 720 it's like for each level that's the amount of stars required to attain the item so that's a lot of stars so eventually you will end up clearing the 400 stages um, that's currently available in this game then once you're done with the 400 stages you move on to the master class series which we have not talked about yet ever since i've done my um, video tutorial series on pokemon cafe mix mainly because well, we haven't reached there ourselves in the mobile game so I have already gone past all 400 stages on my Switch account um, therefore I'm a bit knowledgeable on all this for the time being so yeah um, so if you guys are following me on my YouTube channel for Pokemon Cafe Mix I'm sure most of you have passed the 400 stages by now um, if you guys haven't uh, you should definitely be working a bit harder cannot rely on you know everybody else to the event for you that's just horrible as a gamer <laughs> in the, as a person in general as well because you don't want to end up being the kind of you know, classmate that does nothing and just sit around and watch you do the results you know it's just it's just not how you be a good person <laughs> okay Alright, so we do have this megaphone. Let's see if we can destroy all the people. We missed out on one, but that's okay. We need, um, we need to Ooh, 50. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, um, we're gonna clear more of the other unwanted Pokemon icons for now. We'll try to claim that 50, um, link requirement. More Togepi's, there we go. Okay, we're gonna do this. And hopefully change some of the Genos to Togepi as well. There we go. So now we have a guaranteed 50. So let's just gather all the nonsense together. Woo! We get at 64. Alright, simple stage. Ooh, I have to get my Lucario in this account. <laughs> Lucario is pretty awesome though. Alright, we get a friendship bonus that's gonna help us in the Grand Prix at the same time unlocking Snorlax. So, two birds with one stone. Let's go. Snubble. Hmm. So, how do you guys think of the game so far? Um, Pokemon Cafe Mix has been out for a pretty long time now. Um, I've been enjoying the game casually, at the same time a bit hardcore thanks to this Snorlax event. <laughs> um, so yeah, the game has definitely changed its pace. Okay, we're going to the tomatoes. Alright, uh, I guess let's move the chestnuts out of the way. Let's the more tomatoes. I can't get all the chestnuts that I'm going. That's fine. Okay, once we're done with the chestnuts, it's time to handle the tomatoes. The tomatoes are the problem because there are so many icons here. Okay, so we just got to rotate them around. Okay, you can use the skills. Um, to basically destroy the path for the tomatoes, but I don't think that's necessary. Oh god. There we go. There we go. We used up all the moves, but at least the stage is clear. And we get that friendship bonus. Some fantastic stuff. 
Just gotta be careful on how you rotate the tomatoes around the stages because you might end up having the need to retry the level if you're not careful enough. Okay, let's go gain our rewards. Ooh, a trial place. So if you're wondering what position I am in my Switch account uh, for the Grand Prix, I'm actually in first place. Um, there is someone very close to me in my um, you know, Grand Prix team. Um, there is somebody who is like 60 stars away from taking over me. So that 60 stars sounds like a, a long run, but actually if you play for, I guess, 2 hours? that 60 stars can be easily gotten especially with all the friendship bonus and all that kind of stuff and the master levels give more stars than the usual cafe stages um, like the usual cafe stages only give you one to two stars um, while the master stages they give you like two to three stars and if you get a multiplier from friendship bonus that's a heck lot of stars so yeah okay we need two more stars to unlock more um, we're very close to getting Snorlax just in one video. Video? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about having um, the power of friendship. <laughs> Not exactly. I don't know these people, but and I'm very grateful for their hard work. Alright. So yeah. So if you guys have already unlocked Snorlax, let me know. What do you guys think of the big friendly giant? Okay, we definitely need to clear the chocolates because I don't want to get tasted by olive oils. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're gonna uncoat some of them at the same time. Let's get some of the vegetables going. Oh! Accidentally activated the skill. But well, that's fine. And uh, at least it does something. Getting the vegetables and all that. Okay, so we can power up this. So we can get more veggies. Alright, and let's go get the olive oils and chocolates. Okay. There we go. Definitely need to clear the chocolates. Oh, that was placed very badly. Oh no, it looks like we might be in a bit of a pinch. There we go. Yep, a bit of a pinch because we kind of messed up a bit, but that's okay. We're gonna retry. At least let me do a decent show on how to clear the level, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Definitely try to clear the olives first. If you guys are able to um, push the olives up away from the chocolate, that will actually be a very skillful tactic because you don't really want the chocolate to get coated. Uh, of course, the vegetable cooks do not get affected by the olive oils, uh, at least this time round, because there are some levels where the crates do get coated. Oh no, I did not set free that chocolate. Okay, we need to set these guys free. Go. And we're gonna try to set more than three. And once that is done, okay. all right, let's clear this up. Hmm, we have a problem. <laughs> Okay, so this is definitely not the best ideal run, but you know, we do have enough items to clear the stage, so I'm gonna use the 900 acorns. You know, might as well take advantage of it. Alright, 
right, we're gonna destroy the chocolates first. And we're gonna use that last move to gain more vegetables. And that's it. Okay, so not the best showcase of clearing this level, but you know, it's possible. I have done it myself before. It is possible to clear that level without um, the need of a rerun. Um, just be very careful on how you destroy the olives because it can be a hindrance. Um, of course, you might want to consider using Meowth skill to power up and then of course destroy the chocolates before you destroy the olives. So that is another strategy. So yep. Ooh, this looks simple. Oh no. Yeah, popcorns are being covered by bubblegum. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just clear out the honey first. Lots of Snorlax. Let's go Snorlax. Okay, let's get the Blossom going. Let's destroy the popcorns at the same time. Alright. Splutter. Alright, so majority of the popcorns are gone. This coating. Okay. One more batch. And we are free to do nonsensical wreckage. Okay. Simple as that. Alright, let's get the squirtle going. Blossoms. Okay, so seems like we're good. Oh, we do need to summon a few more megaphones, so that's a problem. Um, let's just clear it like this. Yeah, there we go. Simple as that. <laughs> Don't, don't forget that you can use megaphones to activate other megaphones because some, sometimes we tend to forget simple things like this which can easily clear the stage for us. Alright, let's unlock more rewards from the event. Three more stars to get our Snorlax. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on. Oh, Lucario, I don't have you. Such a bummer. Now, eventually, after grinding so much on this event, you will unlock a lot of stuff. Like, on my Switch account, um, some of my Pokemon have already gone to level 3, which is the current max level that you can um, level them up to. So, ooh. Okay, we got to mix the milk canisters up. So let's... Oh god, we gotta dig them out. Oh god, no no no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use more charmers to dig this out. So once it's dug out, let's try to combine them both. It's annoying that, you know, the piping bags are in the way. There we go. Once we've got them then powered up, let's destroy a few things along the way. We do need to dig the tomatoes out, so that is a problem. Okay, we got two of them out. So as long as they're in, that's fine. Oh no. Oh. Okay, there we go. Just to get a score bonus. Okay. Minchino. Okay, so we can destroy this and get some score. And once you're done with that, let's use the megaphone here. And that's it. Simple as that. Not a very difficult stage considering there's only two variations of icons on this level. So that was pretty fun. Okay, two more stars to get our Snorlax. Ooh, Boba Fett. Okay, just 
checking who's in line. Hmm. 100,000 score. Ooh, I do not like pumpkins. Okay, so Pikachu does destroy things upwards, so let's leave the pumpkins locked in this position. So we just have to get rid of the olives. So let's do this. We're going to leave the pumpkins right there in place because it's a lot easier to destroy um, this way. Okay. Alright, let's get the olive here as well. Fantastic. Okay, let's get rid of Eevee. Alright, and once the olives are set free, it's going to be a lot easier to destroy them without, you know, hindering the chestnuts. Okay. Oh, I forgot that Pikachu has that bottom destruction value as well. Oh no, one of the olives got coated. That's okay. <laughs> it stays coated because the rest of the olives destroyed around him. Ah, uh, so funny. Okay, so we're done. Simple as that. Not a very difficult level. Just gotta play smart. Destroy things systematically. Here we go. Alright, and with the upcoming level that we're gonna clear, Snorlax is going to be set free. Ooh, two stars for our buffet. Oh no. There's mayonnaise, there's pumpkins. Oh, the sugar cubes are blocking them as well. This is going to be one hell of a level. Okay, so I have a feeling this is one of those levels that we're going to have to retry quite a bit. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going to... Yeah, we're gonna destroy the pumpkin with the sugar cube. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna try to push all the pumpkins down um, together, if possible. At the same time, we're gonna destroy all the caramels. Okay, lots of executor, which is a great thing. Okay. So we do have a lot of pumpkins here. Destroy this tea and sugar cube as well. Let's get more executors going. Maybe let's get more of the caramels because they can get pretty annoying. Alright, we have a pumpkin here, so let's destroy the pumpkin here first. Then after that, we're gonna push everything together. Okay, let's see. Oh god. Let's <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Okay, we have a problem here, which is, um, okay, we need to dig this out, if possible. Oh no. So, there is a pumpkin that is not destroyed yet, so that is an issue. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to, well, definitely it's one of those levels that we might need to retry or... Basically, you can do this. <laughs> so we are going to do that. Okay. This. We are good with one megaphone's help. That's it. So yeah, 900 acorns. As long as you use it wisely, you should do fine. Especially if you're grinding stars for Grand Prix or Snorlax. So yes. Um, eventually, if you don't end up needing to use 900 acorns to retry the level or add 3 more moves um, you should be earning more than enough acorns back by grinding these events so yeah so I've got plenty of acorns so we'll not use it okay let's do the 10 level rewards first go and of course let's unlock our big friendly giant so who's more adorable, Snorlax or Totoro? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Alright. Oh, 
So in order to get more of the rewards, I need more stars. Once again, making sure that people don't just tag along for no reason and not working hard. There you go, big friendly giant on the screen. Fantastic and adorable. <laughs> I'm surprised that they actually have a uniform of his size. <laughs> okay, let's do this. We're doing one more level and we're ending this episode here. Wow, surprisingly we managed to get Snorlax with just 10 stages. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Slurpuff does destroy things upwards, so let's just power up his skill by you know, charging the skill. While destroying some marshmallows. Alright. We definitely want to try to keep the chestnuts in place. It seems like one is going to fall out, so that's kind of a scary thing. Okay, destroy as many as we can. There we go. Let's slurp half to set free these marshmallows. Definitely want to remember to destroy them because it can be very annoying if they don't get highlighted and then we end up losing because we forgot to destroy them. Okay, so let's just the popcorn and the two chestnuts. And we're just left with one chestnut and chestnut. Not chestnuts, there's only one. <laughs> English people, English. Alright. Fantastic. Oh, Ninchino gets the friendship bonus. Ooh, this is actually very tempting. Should we move on? <laughs> I mean, it's not that difficult, and we do want to try to clear the 400 levels as soon as possible. Uh, okay, let's continue. We'll do another 10 more stages and then we'll end the episode there. Okay, so here we go. I blame the friendship bonus, it's just too tempting. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh. Fruit cancer. Mm. Okay, so let's power up Charmander's skill. And of course, at the same time, let's get rid of the caramels. Do them as much as we can. Alright, with this, we can destroy. Cans. Or rather the coating around the cans. Now we have to get rid of the honey. That's, that's gonna be a problem if the icons don't fall. Go. Okay. So we do need two skills of Tarmander because of how that we place the food cans are. But it's okay. Uh, okay, let's see if we, can, yeah, we can get rid of the cans with the um, megaphones. So let's just spread out and destroy the honey. We do need the score, so technically we're doing fine. Oh. And that should do it. Could have ended earlier. But that's all good. Ooh, the cup is so fancy. Can you imagine seeing the actual cup in the Pokemon Cafe in Japan? Alright, we've got our next level unlocked. Let's go claim our rewards. Wow, we are in really fifth position on Grand Prix. <laughs> Guess there are lesser people playing on the mobile accounts. Considering mobile is actually more convenient than the Switch. So there we go, we have the tart, the fruit tart um, for Snorlax. So maybe let's go use that on Snorlax just to show you an example. So where is it? Um, profile Pokemon listing. Snorlax? No, that's much like <laughs> This is a tiny version of Snorlax. Okay, here it is. So let's use this. So you can use the regular tarts. But, wait, oh wait, have we not gotten, or is it the next reward? Huh? Okay. So yeah, you you are able to power up Snorlax 
We have the regular fruit tarts. But I don't know whether they will actually give you lesser um, EXP points. I'm not sure. Wait, let me just... Oh, I need more stars to get it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so they don't really show you how far the team's score has gone, so you have to keep playing. Which is also good. Alright. 150,000 score, oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh, the tomatoes are in a very bad position. Okay, we're gonna have to shift the tomatoes away. Let's push them all over here. Let's try to destroy as many popcorn as possible. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Squirtles. Destroying as many popcorns as possible. Okay, this is a bit risky. So we're gonna go with this. Destroy all of them at one go. Get you get out of the way. The tomatoes want to go in. There we go. We've got all the tomatoes in. Now we just need the score and the vegetables. Alright, let's power up this. Get all the vegetable crates. Fantastic. So let's keep going. Let's make sure you cover the crates. Fantastic, and now we have to guarantee clear. Simple as that. So just focus on the tomatoes first. Um, the popcorns will come generally. And yeah, just do things in order. Okay, let's move on. Executor again. Hmm. So Executor does destroy things upwards. We could um, basically just handle the marshmallows and the whipped creams that are on the right side which are open to the icons. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Or maybe let's just handle the marshmallows first. Okay, we do have the skills. Alright, let's get the. Ooh, I want to execute the whole thing, that's not good. Oh no, I'm jammed! Ah, <laughs> oh, what a waste. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's power this up. Charmander, there's a lot of Charmander, so let's clear Charmander. Okay, Lucario. Oh, I missed out on one marshmallow. That's just horrible. Okay, so technically we don't really have to use the skill. Because a lot of the items are just destroyed in one move. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we gotta be very careful. We have to get that whipped cream and the sugar cube. There you go. So not the best example, but we did clear the level. So as long as you follow a systematic order, like you know which side to destroy first, or which item that needs priority in destroying, especially when it comes to marshmallow, they do take turns to reappear. So pay very close attention to that. Alright, fourth place. Nice. Did you give up? Hmm. Uh oh. Four combos of 25 links? How in the. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of Pikachu, so let's go with Pikachu first. Oh no, this stage is very worrying. 
Meowth now. We want to save the Jigglypuff icons for later. Because, you know, it's best that you can continuously summon its skill. There we go, that's what we wanted. Okay. Now let's just destroy the chestnuts. Most of them. Let's get enough Pikachu icons so we can get Jigglypuff skill out the game. Okay. Destroy things like this so we have more space for more icons. Fantastic. Okay, it seems like we are easily getting all the 25 clears. The only problem here is. The chestnut. <laughs> so let's just can we push this closer? Because the chocolates are all destroyable with one hit. So if we didn't do that, oh my goodness, we might have to try or extend the level. That's kind of a problem. Alright, there we go. So a pretty risky level. Um considering that all the moves are used up. Uh, even though we plan things out intentionally, just gotta be careful with what we need to destroy in priority. Um, whether it's the chestnuts or you can destroy the chestnuts together with the chocolates, you know, that kind of thing. So, if you can power up, I guess, Jigglypuff skill as well. But, you know, considering that there, there's so many requirements of the 25 links, um, I think using the Jigglypuff skills not being powered up is the way to go. Because you definitely want to try and get as many icons to change as possible. Oop, bubble cell. So yeah, think about it. And plan your strategy on clearing that level. Ooh. Okay, we can go ahead and clear the caramels first because all these oils are definitely annoying. Alright, so there we go. Oh, good thing they changed the rules. And they touch and let go because <laughs> if not we have wasted a move just like that all right all the caramels are gone so let's clear out the olives okay now we just have to uncoat them all right so do we have or we do have a chain link requirement? So main thing here is to uncoat some of the items. Okay, we might be in a bit of a problem. Oh, it seems not. <laughs> okay, so I was a bit worried um, that we don't have enough icons to do the 25 link, but you know, things turned out well. Okay, not too problematic of a level. Ooh, Lucario. Alright, let's keep going. Should let this up. Just eight stars away from getting Lucario to join the cafe. Okay, the chestnuts are pretty nicely placed, but the problem is Munchlax skill doesn't do well in tight spaces. So um, let's get Munchlax to power up first. Okay, let's push the chestnuts out. And of course, setting free the um, Mayonnaise. Icons. Alright, megaphones, do your job. There's a lot of me after. Very nice. Okay. Oh, the other one moves away. Aww. Okay, let's push this together. To 
get the milk cartons together. Just power up the skill and destroy the megaphones and get a few more summons out and we're done. Very very difficult level. Right? Just make sure you don't mess up on combining the shaker and the milk together because that can be a very big problem. Alright, we unlock Snorlax next reward. face on it. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's go power up Snorlax. Maybe just to see, you know, the differences between the EXP earned and the regular. So let's do a regular first. Regular is 5, Snorlax is 1. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, ooh, using the regular Fruit Hearts is actually more beneficial, but the thing is, you can get the Fruit Hearts for Snorlax technically for free, while these are actually harder to attain, so... Hmm. Okay, let's power up Snorlax, so level 3 is the highest you can go right now for every Pokemon, so... Hmm. How many Egg Hearts do... How many Fruit Hearts do you actually need to fully power up Snorlax? Okay, ooh, I do not have you, so that's a problem. It's, it's actually nice to have all the Pokemon available whenever you need them. Okay, Minchino. Ooh, pumpkins. Oh no. Okay, so we need to push the pumpkins down. And of course, at the same time, we need to get the tomatoes down. out if possible can we push this out apparently not okay okay let's go with the top row first okay one tomato is in Thing here is to power up skill. Oh, that did not do it. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Okay, so we got our skill icon. Let's max this out. Okay, we have one more pumpkin left. But technically, we are good. So let's get the tomato in. Um, let's get our score and our skill. We are done. Not too difficult. Loving all these stages with just two varieties of icons, making things a lot easier. Oh, we're in third place now. a lot of honey okay that's worrying considering that um, a lot of the icons are being coated okay so let's just gradually clear the honey there we go so we have to pop these out Okay, we do have a requirement of 30 icons 4 times. Oh, that's not good. Oh god. Okay, we got it. We got the first one. Okay. 
Olympics to get free uh, chocolates. Oh no, I don't think that's enough for 30 though. Okay, let's go with the honey first. Okay, let's go for it. I'm not too sure whether that's 40. There we go, we've got our 40. Okay, we need to get rid of the chocolate bars. There we go. One more time on the 40. More than enough. Fantastic. So we just need to get rid of this too. And change the majority of the icons. Fantastic. We're done! So yeah, as long as you don't struggle too much with the um, trapped items, I think you'll be fine. Do we get a friendship bonus? No. Oh no. Guess we won't be getting the rewards for Snow Lake this episode. Alright, on to our very last level for this episode. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, we definitely want to destroy um, the olives before we touch the whipped creams, cause hmm, it will be a problem if they're coated up. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's uncoat these feathers. So once that is mostly done, let's start destroying the cheese. Okay, we've got more space for icons. Okay, let's get into the whipped creams. Okay, there is a popcorn that is coated, so let's set it free. Destroy a majority here. Need more space for icons. And the cheese. There we go. And more things destroyed. Fantastic. Two icons. might have a problem. Yeah, we have a problem. Okay, we can destroy majority of the items, but the problem is the score. So technically, 20,000 score isn't exactly difficult to get. So let's just do this. Alright, let's just grab a whole bunch of the similar icons. And of course, make sure we destroy the wood cream that we are lacking. There we go. So as long as you are very close to completing the level, just use that 900 acorns. Especially when it comes to levels such as this, where it's a tiny bit harder to handle. So even, even though we have things planned out, it is not as easy. There are just some levels that are like, Oh god, why do you have to hit me with a friendship bonus when I'm about to end the episode? Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> it's just tempting me to play on. Okay, so I'm not gonna get tempted. I need to end this episode here. I don't want it to be too long of an episode. Because you guys can't tolerate long episodes. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode. Where we unlocked and, you know, explore the mechanisms of the raid events with team members. So what do you guys think of the raid event? Has it enticed you to play more Pokemon Cafe Mix? It definitely has for myself. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. 
Uh, of course, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe for more Pokemon Cafe Mix content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Until then, bye!